So this is a hay bale unroller. It was actually um, created by Greg Judy in Missouri. Um, he sells them from his farm. But it's been really useful for us because one of the main things that we're trying to do is utilize hay not only for forage but as a soil amendment. So we're approximating 50% is getting eaten by the cows, 50% is getting trampled into the ground, the seeds in that hay are going back into the soil and, and helping better our pastures. So what we do, we do, we feed out hay in various ways ba depending on what the objective is. Obviously, we want to get forage to the cattle, but also we're looking at how can we best utilize that hay to help fertilize our soils um, and to help kill weeds and that kind of thing. So we use different management techniques to do that. The hay bale and roller I really like uh, because for, for one thing, for animal management, I love that when you roll out a bale of hay, it really makes the animals uh, sort of line up with the hay that's on the ground. And so you can get a very clear picture of your herd health. Um, you can do a quick, you know, scan and look at body condition scores. Um, you can look for management uh, or animal health issues like an animal standing off by itself and not coming to graze um, or the hay. So lots of different reasons to do it. Um, we're getting I'm getting ready to spread this bale of hay down in a pasture um, that's really gotten taken over by cockaburras. Um, so we're going to we're going to graze the animals heavy um, in this area, hopefully to trample some of these seeds back into the ground. Also, we'll be spreading some lime on that pasture. It's got cockleburrows, it's got um, some broom sedge in it. It's got a lot of different types of weeds that we want to lessen and build the better quality forage in that pasture for the animals. Okay, so the process for hooking up uh, your unroller to the bale is really quite simple. Um, the hardest part of this is uh, getting getting the gator and your unroller or whatever you're pulling it with. You could pull it with a truck or a tractor, whatever you're using. Um, I choose to use the gator, which is super easy, it's fast. Uh, but again, there's a little bit of a learning curve to backing it up so you have the same amount of space on the left hand and the, as the right hand around the bale. So I've backed up my gator. The next step is uh, that we're gonna put these spears in. So what I have found from doing this is that instead of aiming for the direct center of the bale, uh, the spear goes in a little bit better if you go slightly off. So you'll see this is the center of the bale. If you go slightly off and, and stick the spear in here, you're gonna push this in. And then what I usually do is either kick it you don't want to miss because these edges are really sharp. So kick it so it goes in a little bit more, or you can take a heavy hammer like a sledgehammer or just a hammer and tap this in. But I'm, I'm just going to kick it and get that in there. And then what you're going to do is uh, take this chain to lock it in place and put it here. Just like that. So now your spear can't come out. The next thing we're going to do is roll this up so that we can transport it. So right now the bale is on the ground and we're going to want to go here and just roll this up. So now the, the bale can be transported. Okay, so as you can see, this uh, this roll of hay covered about 100 yards. And as I said before, reasons that I like it is because, first of all, from a management animal management standpoint, I love how the cows disperse around it and I can get a clear view of uh, animal health issues, just how they're doing in general. Um, it's a great way to look at your cows. Um, but Equally as important, if not more important, when you're trying to build your uh, organic matter in your soil and you're trying to better your soil, um, having the animals here dispersed in a line 
um, eating and pooping and the animal action of their hoof action, getting these seeds back in the ground. It really is beneficial, um, much more efficient um, in terms of ecologically benefits, uh, benefiting the soil and the environment than a hay ring. Um, and what you see with hay rings is just, a, you know, your hay in the middle, animals competing to get to it because a hay ring in circumference is actually very small. So not all of the animals can eat at the same time, depending on your numbers. And then just so much impact in that one area and so much concentrated manure. Here, you're getting a much more even distribution. Obviously, you're picking an area where you want to put the bale and you want to unroll it, but in terms of just the animal impact, it's, it's much more beneficial. Mm -hmm.